Hello everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for FRCS exam. An injured axillary artery is ligated between this thyrocervical trunk of the subclavian and subscapular artery. Subsequent collateral circulation is likely to result in the reversal of the blood flow in which vessel listed below. So in this question it is obvious that the axillary artery is ligated between the thyrocervical trunk which is a branch from the third part of the subclavian artery and between the subscapular artery so the axillary artery is located at the point and this point is between the thyrocervical trunk and subscapular artery the subscapular artery is one of the branches from the axillary artery actually from the third part of the axillary artery and here we have to find out through which of the pathway that the collateral circulation will be developed here the options options are the circumflex scapular artery transverse cervical artery posterior intercostal artery supra scapular artery and profunda brachii artery so let's see some of the picture regarding this question first of all here we can see the ligature point the ligature point usually between the subscapular artery and thyrocervical trunk so here we can see this is the subscapular artery and here the thyrocervical trunk so subscapular artery and thyrocervical trunk and ligated like this place or between this place that means from here and from here so this point any of the part there is a ligation of the axillary artery so now how the collateral circulation will be established so here we can see this pathway is completely blocked that means from here up to here there is no possible to circulation of the blood for this condition the blood circulation will be occur between the thyrocervical trunk with this collateral circulation we can see there are vessels here and we can see there is this circumflex scapular artery which is a branch of sub scapular artery the circumflex scapular artery it will be connected to the branches from the thyrocervical trunk because the axillary artery is ligated between this vessel and this vessel so connection will be occur between the branches of the thyrocervical trunk and branches from the sub scapular artery and here we can see the sub scapular artery it provides a branch which is this circumflex scapular artery and this circumflex at scapular artery it finally connected with the thyrocervical trunk in this way and here we can see the another way there and it finally connected with the thyrocervical trunk so a large area is obliterated but the circulation will be established successfully so in this picture we can see another picture here and in this picture we can see that this is the thyrocervical trunk which is branch from the third part of the subclavian artery and here we can see this artery it is the subscapular artery so the uh, ligation occurs from here up to here within this place so collateral circulation will be developed this thyrocervical trunk and this circumflex scapular artery in this picture it is another picture showing the same condition here ligation occur between this or this any part of here uh, so circulation will be developed collaterally through the circumflex scapular artery this circumflex scapular artery it will be connected to the different part of this artery so our final answer it is the 
circumflex scapular artery this circumflex scapular artery it will form the collateral circulation between the thyrocervical trunk and the subscapular artery and other artery located closely to it so our final answer is the circumflex scapular artery thank you all